Hello, all you wonderful people out there. Welcome back. Today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit more about the Huawei 5G Wi-Fi. We did a video a few weeks back and it was just a very short, very quick sort of semi-excitable unboxing of, of the device. Today, I just wanna spend a little bit more time on it with you folks out there so that if there's anything we might have missed last time, whether it be you know the device itself or some of the, the software side, the web UI side of it, you can get a little bit of a closer look at it. So really what I wanna do with you guys today is just like I've received the device, I just wanna set it up with you guys and show you how it works. We're not gonna have a look at the, the detail of all the, you know, the, the lightning fast speeds and the specs and the numbers because 5G is very much evolving at the moment, evolving quite quickly. A lot of the spec can be quite varied depending what country you're in, depending what region and what country you're in, and depending on the infrastructure of that country. So I don't think it's quite fair for us to say, this is the number you're gonna get, it's black and white, you know, X, Y, and Z, because it's really where you're gonna be using it and what the infrastructure is like. And there's, there's a whole load of variables in, in that recipe of, of 5G. So I'm not gonna delve too deep in, in the whole number value of that. Instead, I wanna introduce the device to you guys and just give you a sort of a quite a casual walkthrough about how you set it up, what the menu options are, and some of the extra features like the, the wireless charging, USB charging, give you a few options of what the features are on the, the web UI system. So that's it, and like, and like I said, if, if you come away from the video and you've got any further questions about the device, let us know if we can help you out. We certainly will do our best to, to get back to you and give you an answer or, or, or may, maybe make a video off the back of it showing you this. So the device is currently off, I'm gonna turn it on. I've got a little nano SIM card in front of me at the moment. I'm gonna set it up and go through the startup and set up process with you guys. So here we go. So first things first, the device is currently off. I'm gonna hit the power button on the side there. Hold that in, you've gotta hold it in for a few seconds and the LCD screen does fire up. I'm gonna put a nano SIM card in. So it's the smallest size SIM card that in chip side facing up and that goes all the way in until it clicks and it doesn't pop back out. It gives you a little 5G boot up screen and it's read the SIM card so I was in luck. In this particular case, I've got an EE SIM card. It's a 4G EE SIM card, so you won't see any 5G symbols on there, just in case curious. So we've got the little nano SIM in the side slot there. Uh, just next to it, also got a little reset button that's hiding in there as well. Alternatively, you can go into the menu of the device and reset the device in the, in the menu, in the device menu. So I'll close that up. I've mentioned before in the video, so you've got a power button and then an enter or a, a cycle button. So if we're on the main screen, just press that little dot button there. If I press it, you go into the device menu. So you've got Wi-Fi code, Wi-Fi settings, device information, and then you've got more. If you want to go into any of these menu options, you hit the power button. So if I do that again, let's say I want to go into Wi-Fi code. I now hit the power button on the side. That gives me a QR code with a lot of mobile handsets if you use your camera or the QR scanner on that it'll take you straight into the Wi-Fi connect via Wi-Fi option come out of that then if we go into Wi-Fi settings and I hit the power button again to press enter that takes us back into a couple of sub menus I go to Wi-Fi info and then hit that power button again you've got what SSID it is along with the SSID password Wi-Fi band in this case it is defaulted onto the 2.4 2.4 gigahertz frequency band. Go back. A WPS, for those of you who don't know, it's just a quick connectivity option. So if you're connecting, for example, on a laptop, the top of my head, uh, you're going to connect through uh, the Windows 10 operating system. You click your Wi-Fi symbol and it'll bring up a list of Wi-Fi networks. If you click on the SSID of this device, before you punch your password in, it should offer you the option of clicking the WPS button. Once you click that or activate the feature on the device, the device and your laptop will then talk to each other and connect automatically. So that's what the WPS button is. We'll go back into the menus and then you've just got your Wi-Fi extender and that it really just turns your, your mobile broadband Wi-Fi device into a repeater as such, where you can then go back into the menu, can connect to say a hardline broadband and get it to repeat that signal so that you can extend your overall range of your original broadband source. 
The next option is device information. This is gonna pull up all your generic information, the version, the IP address, firmware options, IMEIs, everything like that. I go back and the last option, more. You can either reset your device, as I mentioned earlier, factory reset your device. So if you change any settings, enable data roaming or anything like that, or if you've changed passwords, and you wanna reset your device back to its its factory settings go ahead and click on that reset option and then you've also got the option of enabling data roaming over there i'll leave that unchecked so if we go back so that's most of the features we can connect just by using those two buttons on the side of the device i don't believe there's any more no that's it if you want to head into more of the options, we will use the Huawei's Hylink app. That'll give us a lot more sort of flexibility on how to customize the device as well. Again, just to give you a quick, quick walkthrough around what the device looks like and where everything is. So you've got that power button and your scroll button. The power button is also sort of your enter button as such. And the, the, the button with the little dot on it is sort of your scroll button. There's nothing else along the side of that device over there. If we have a look at the top, just got a bit of the default generic device information over there for you. Nothing along that side, you use the, the fingerprints. And then on the bottom, you've got USB port and a USB-C port. So I have a, a smaller little baby E5573 device here. I wanna just turn it on and make sure we're all up and running here. Yep. Just to give you an idea of charging a device via a USB cable, plug that in there. Uh, we've got two LEDs here on the front of the E5573. We've got no SIM card in here, so your, your network symbol is gonna be red, and your LED for the battery, if the battery is weak, is gonna be red as well. So I've got a little E5573 MiFi device. Battery is quite flat. So just to go, go ahead and show you how the cable charging works with the 5G Pro, plug the USB in, is on, and then we're gonna go ahead and plug our little baby baby sister in it. Pretty straightforward, USB charging from the MiFi and power bank to our smaller little MiFi device. And as you can see there, our green LED is flashing by the battery indicator, just telling us that the device is charging. And that, that, that should work for most devices. Again, you can play if, if it's a USB-C device you've got, so on and so forth. The other port that I mentioned to you was the USB-C. These devices come with a quick charge adapter, a USB-C cable. So when you go to charge your, your device, you will obviously use that and that will be plugged in via that USB-C port over there. Then the third way of charging devices is this baby has got a wireless charge feature as well. So if we go ahead and just put that straight on the top there. There you go, voila. You can see it kicks into charge. Uh, it shows a charging symbol. Uh, take it away. Yep, yeah, so just one more time for you guys. So currently out of out of charge. At the moment I place it on the top of that, there you go, bang, we're charging, we're charging our, our handset. So uh, again, another little handy feature. Uh, saves you all that fuss about cables and plugging in things and knots and all of that, you go ahead nice, clean and tidy, just pop your, your, your wireless charging device on, on the MiFi device and you're good to go. Easy as that, one, two, three. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do with you guys is just connect to this device using Huawei's Hylink app, run through the quick setup process with you. And again, just give you a quick quick walkthrough. We have some previous videos, if you wanna click in one of the corners or look in the links below. We've done a, a video about the Hylink app before. Uh, they do It does vary and adapt itself depending on what device you do connect it to, but we just wanna give you an idea of what features pop up when you use the Hylink app with this 5G device. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect my phone to the Wi-Fi device. To do this, I'm gonna use uh, the very convenient lazy method of the QR code feature on this device. So I'll scroll through the menus using the, the dot button on the side until it says Wi-Fi code. I'll hit the power button once and that'll bring up a Q QR code. I'm gonna open the camera feature and hover over it and it recognizes it. I wanna tap join the network notification. There you go, Wi-Fi, Huawei E678, it's joined, brilliant. So once connected to the network, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Huawei Hylink app, and it's first going to ask me to log in to the device. So we'll go ahead and log in. Default password is going to be admin, and it says welcome to the E6878-370, which is the model, model number of this device. I'm gonna go ahead and check the auto download if update is available keeps the firmware up to date. 
keeps it free of bugs. Click OK or Next, and we just go to our very brief Wi-Fi name and password setup. In this instance, I'm just gonna keep everything as default. I'm not gonna change anything for the speed of things. So we'll go ahead and click Next. It'll save all the settings. It's all set up, and we're gonna go ahead and click Start. That brings us to our application home screen. You've obviously got your, your sort of little speedo dial that tells you how much megabytes you have used. You can go ahead and set a plan on there and set parameters and manage your data whatever for whatever sort of suits yourself. Pretty generic on the face of it. If you go ahead and click the tools tab, top right hand corner, you've then got nine different features of how to manage the device through the Highlink app. So you've got your battery, shortcut SMS, guest Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi extender, which is your, your repeater mode, network diagnostics, That'll tell you if there's a fault somewhere along the link between your SIM card and service provider internet to the device to port broadcasting your SSID, it will notify you there's a problem along there and point you along any troubleshooting methods. You've got your sharing facility, so if there's multiple folks connected uh, to the device and you've all got the Highlink app, this uh, Highlink app includes folder sharing option where you can share photos and files quick and easy through the device's application. Uh, you've got your QR scanner feature that'll use your camera, your device, your phone camera to scan QR codes. And then you've also got a best position. So if you walk around the room with your device, it'll obviously fluctuate in signal, let you know where best to place this device that your mobile reception is very good. So very straightforward there. If you wanna go into sort of the back settings as well, things like network, APN settings, uh, service provider settings, all of the set your data roaming, set data usage on and off, you can, you can do that. Uh, you've got your device information. Uh, pin management, your auto update options, that's all in the background over there. Again, what I'd say, if you wanna have a really in-depth look into the Highlink app, we have got another video on it that goes all the, the details for you. You're more than welcome to click on that and have a look. And that's, that's really it. You can also hold that um, little speedo dial and go into settings as well. Again, that'll set your, your monthly or your, your period parameters if you do wanna manage your data through a particular period. That is it. So pretty much quite generic there. Most of Huawei's sort of management features, nothing too far different to what we've seen before. However, if you look at the device itself, you've obviously got, you've got your power bank charging, you've got your 5G speeds, you've got your faster Wi-Fi speeds, you've got your Bellong chipset to, to process all of those speeds. You've got your wireless charging, which we've given you a demonstration on today as well as the bottom two ports there. Uh, you've got your USB charging port via cable and you have your uh, USB-C port over there for charging your device as well. Just like our device needs to be charged as well, just giving us a low battery notification on the main display. Currently just hit 10%, so it needs a little bit of juice in it. And that's, that's what you would use your USB port in there for. So we have had a couple of questions regarding the device itself over the last few weeks. Uh, lots, actually lots of questions, lots and lots and lots of questions. Some of you we've been able to get back in touch with. Some of you we've answered a couple of questions in this video. Uh, we'll read a couple of other questions about. There was a lot of interest, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, with regards to, you know, get, tell us speeds. We want to see numbers. And like I mentioned before, it it is a gray area. If we did run a you know, all these speed checks from where we are based will vary to where you are based all around the world. So we kind of don't want to delve too deep into that in this particular circumstance. Again, you know, let us know your thoughts or if you've got a particular question and we might be able to get around it, let us know. If we can help you, we certainly will help you. We've got the device here in-house, so we can we can tackle it, we can carry it around with us. If we can get somewhere to check something, we certainly will try. But one of the questions was, what LTE bands does this device fall into. There's a number of different bands, uh, 4G and 5G, that it, it does support. Instead of me mouthing them all off to you, just for ease of it, I will put all the bands in the description below this video. Just click to extend it and uh, we'll write down all the bands there for you and that will let you know which bands this device does support in 4G and 5G. Another question was, does the device support 4G SIMs? Well, in this video demonstration, I've got a 4G SIM card in it and it works perfectly fine. It, it, it supports 4G option very well, very moderate, it's very stable, uh, it's very smooth, there's no interruptions and it works perfectly fine. So yes, it does support 4G. Another question we had was how toxic is 5G? It's 
rather difficult one to answer. There is so many things all over the internet and the mind boggles. There's no hard fact, just a lot of speculation and opinions rather. But we'll just leave it at that. I'm not gonna go into any, any further discussion about that. There's no hard evidence out there that 5G is extremely damaging. And so two more questions that we uh, we get asked very regularly as well, certainly since talking to you in the first video about this, was how much will it cost and when is it gonna be released from us? Again, the ballpark figures, can't go into great detail, but currently looking at a UK market value of about four to 500 pounds. I can't confirm anything yet, but ballpark figure from about four to 500 pounds. When will it be released? We are hoping that it will be released in the first quarter of 2020. As soon as, as, soon as we get the details through and we can confirm these things and shout it out to you, we will. So just keep, keep watching this space, subscribe, like, share and as soon as as soon as the details come through our way i will be the first to let you know that it is good to go and this is the price tag on it so uh, like subscribe if you've got any comments about video or if you've if we've missed something uh, just let us know get in touch and we'll get back to you i hope i hope we've covered just about everything uh, that you guys have asked from us and um, again if there's anything else please let us know goodbye thank you